Hello everyone, welcome back to Nail Art by Nessa, AliExpress and Nail Art Haul video. I am Vanessa and you can call me Nessa. In my last video, we swatched a bunch of 9D, or actually, sorry, 5D cat eye gels by Francesca. And I was complaining that you couldn't see the color shift, but look at that. I don't know what I did differently with my setup today, but somehow you can see the color shift. So I just wanted to show you that. And it's funny, I said that I thought the only ones that didn't have a color shift were the gold, the rose gold, the red, and the silver. But you can see, even in the silver, you can see a bit of a color shift there. Um, I would say actually this blue sort of turquoise one and this blue one and the red one are the only ones that don't have a color shift. And you can totally see that right now. I'm so excited that the camera is actually showing that. Okay, and then in the video prior to that, I did open and swatch these ones by Born Pretty. And you can see a bit of the color shift too. So there you go. So you can see this one especially turns from like purple to like a green to like a bluey silver color. Okay, so let's get started with our packages today. Um, the last package I'm opening does have some cat eye gels that we will be swatching at the end as well. Okay, for my first package, this one is just some practical items. Um, so I ordered this December 22nd, it arrived January 20th. Um, it's from the Ravishing Makeup Store on AliExpress and I paid $6.42, including shipping in Canadian dollars. So I just ordered in this package um, some of these little makeup applicators just for applying um, like pigment powders. And then I ordered these two bottles. I got one in white and one in black. And so the white one will have alcohol and the black one will have acetone. And these ones are just those little pump lids. Um, oh, I guess you turn it. Yeah, so then you just pump it. So you can pump your acetone stuff onto your cotton pads. It makes it a little bit easier instead of actually picking up the bottle, taking off the lid and like tipping it over. Um, I should have had these a long time ago, but you know, that's okay. I have them now. So let's see. Okay, for our second package, I ordered this one November 23rd. Um, it arrived January 3rd. I ordered it from the Nail Unique store and I paid $18.94. And it looks like I got a gift with purchase. So I did not order these weed um, stickers. They look like they're really good quality and they're in gold, so it's really nice. Um, and I mean, I live in BC, Canada and 420 is coming up, so I'm sure I can use these. And of course, weed is legal here in Canada, if you didn't know that. So um, yeah, so I'm sure I'll make use of these, so that's nice. And as I was looking at that, I noticed how crappy my nails look. So I just wanted to mention that in my last set here, um, it's been two weeks since I did my nails, so it's definitely time again, but I used a matte top coat by Born Pretty and I'm really not impressed with it. Like it looks super dirty and it's very soft. So it's really easy to like peel it up from the original polish. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not liking it very much. Um, I really don't like the way it makes the polish look dirty. So, so uh, if you're looking at buying the matte top coat by Born Pretty, I do not recommend it. Okay, so I have some Nicole Diary plates here. So Nicole Diary 208, and this is a dragon plate. You can see there, I really like this little like moon with the clouds, it's really cute. Love the dragon eye. Um, but all the dragons are pretty cool. Well, that's interesting. I don't know why that's on there, but yeah, what does that have to do with dragons? <laughs> Anyways, um, but otherwise the rest of it, yeah, it's really cool. All dragon related. Um, and then you got some wings here that you can add to some of them. Cool. Okay, next plate, small square one. So Nicole Diary 209. And this one's pretty cool. It's kind of like waves on a beach or something. You could definitely use it for that. Um, but it's just really cool looking. This you could kind of use as a flower. But I think when I ordered it, I was kind of looking at like this and this and how it would be really cool for like a beach scene. You could use that as like little waves. Okay, next plate, Nicole Diary 201. And I was obviously still into 
all the snowflakes that I was ordering. So I ordered a lot of plates with snowflakes, if you haven't noticed, if you've watched my other videos. Um, I think I ordered them all around the same time and it's just like because I hadn't, didn't have them in hand yet, I kept ordering more. So, Anyways, this one's a little different because it's got kind of the lines and the swirls and stuff with it, which is pretty cool. So I like that. Okay, and a Christmas plate, so Nicole Diary 197. And I really like this one because I think it'll be really cool for doing some like reverse stamping, like on here. Um, yeah, a lot of these little guys you could do some reverse stamping, so that'd be really cool. But it's got everything you need for Christmas. And I'm sorry about the glare from the light. I'm just trying not to move the light because I want to keep it in place when I do the swatching so that we can see the color shift in the polishes. <laughs> it's like I'm afraid to move anything. It took me so long to actually be able to show you the color shift. So, Okay, so here's another um, snowflake plate. So Nicole Diary 120. And this one's fun because there's a couple here that you can kind of layer together. Um, but then it's also nice because you've got like big groupings of snowflakes where you can just pick up a little section and then place that down the nail. It looks really pretty. And then you got these ones here, which I thought were really pretty. Okay. And the last one. So Nicole Diary uh, number 44. And this one's just kind of more geometric sort of shapes. This one kind of reminds me of like feathers or something. Or like the back of an arrow. <laughs> um, but yeah, really cool. I think this could look really cool on the nail. Well, all of them will look awesome, I'm sure. Um, and then you have some couple, a couple little stripes here, which is kind of nice too. So you have a few different things you can do with this one. Okay, let's move on to our next package. Um, so this one, this one actually arrived today. So two weeks ago, I opened a package with a whole bunch of Born Pretty stamping plates, but I didn't have enough storage for them. So I went ahead and ordered some storage. So I ordered this February 11th and it arrived today and today is February 26th. So I was pretty impressed with that. But now when ordering these, it was a little tricky. It was interesting because, okay, so I ordered this from the Miss Cheering official store. Um, but if I added it to my cart, it said that the shipping was $5 and 41 cents. Um, but then if you like, if you were looking on the actual page where it's showing, showing them for sale, it was saying that the shipping was only 71 cents. So I realized that if I just went to buy now, it would keep the shipping at only 71 cents. And so it was only $5 and 75 cents, um, including shipping to get this but it was going to be like over ten dollars if i added it to my cart and then purchased it so it's just something to be aware of um also if i put two like i wanted two of them and then went straight to buy it still brought up the shipping by quite a lot so i when i bought these i actually bought one at a time and went directly to buy now and so i only paid five dollars and 75 cents each and even though I bought them separately, they shipped them in the same um, package, all in one. So just something to be aware of. Um, so altogether, I paid uh, just over $10 for these two. Um, so yeah, these are, you know, just your typical, your typical um, holders. I really like the way that they are um, the holographic and it's in the rose gold, so it's really pretty. And I got two of them because I wanted to move all of my Born Pretty plates so I'll know that the rose gold ones are my Born Pretty plates. So these ones are really nice um, because with some of the holders I find like you go to pull out your plate and it gets kind of difficult but these ones have a little spot where you can push it up a bit which makes it easier to pull out your plate. And then of course they do fit back to back, so you can fit 20 plates in each one. So I can put 40 plates all together in these two packages. So I can finally organize these things. But yeah, that came super fast too. So skimping on the price of the shipping did not change how quickly they shipped it to me. Okay, let's open our last package. So this one I ordered back in October. Um, it arrived November 26th. Pull up the stuff here. 
Um, so I paid $27.59 for everything you see here. And I ordered it from the Art Lalic official store. Okay, so these are my 90 polishes. So we'll take a look at those in a second. Um, so I did get these really cute scissors. So you can see that they're the oil slick like everything else I've been buying. Um, but I love the way they look like a hummingbird. So these will be my sort of like extra scissors for cutting anything extra, um, like cutting out like water decals and things like that. Oops. Okay. And I got these little flowers, super cute little flowers in every little color. So I look forward to spring so I can do some really cute spring nails with these. Okay, and then I also got these magnets. Um, and there's quite a few little magnets in here. Uh, so I I found, I like bought this because, well I thought it'd be really neat to try, but also they were really cheap. They were, it was $2.12 for this entire little package of magnets. Um, so I'm curious to see how they work because I've seen a few people on YouTube since I ordered these using them and they didn't work so great. But as I found, um, you know, testing out the cat eye gels that like, for instance, these ones, the Francesca ones did not move as easy as say the Born Pretty. So um, like, cause what I was seeing is it wasn't really doing much, but I'm figuring if you're using the Francesca, it probably wouldn't work as well, but it might work on the Born Pretty. So I'm curious, to how easily these ones move. So it'll be really interesting to see. Um, we'll be testing it with these ones, but if they don't work, then I might pull out one of the Born Pretty just to see if it works. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. But there's quite a few different ones. So you got like a wave, like a lattice work. Um, this one is a uh, leaf pattern. You got like a star pattern, um, like an angled stripe. You have a regular cat eye um, magnet. And then this one, I don't really know. I, I guess it's supposed to make like a line with these little curves around it. So it's maybe sort of like the black hole. I'm not sure. Um, and then this sort of arrow shaped one. We got a heart and then a striped one and well, as well as like a little pen. So we'll test these out while we're testing out the cat eye gels. And now let's take a look at the gels. <clears throat> okay, so there they are. Let's see, I bought one, three, five, Oh, so one, three, four, five. Oh, shut up, Vanessa. I have one, two, three, four, five, nine, and eleven, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna go off camera and open these all up, and then we'll start testing them out and seeing how they work. Okay, give me one moment. Okay, so I was trying to open this, and did you just hate opening these things? It's like, I peel up the foil, but then the plastic didn't even come with it. <laughs> it's just frustrating, I hate opening these containers. Like seriously, is it just me? Like, does anyone else have this problem? It's so frustrating. Like, seriously, am I the only one that has this problem? Because like, I struggle every time I'm trying to open one of these tubs and it drives me insane. And it's already taken me like five minutes just to try and get this one open, let alone the rest of them. Urgh. It's like I'm gonna spill out all the product just trying to get the plastic off of it. And my hands are just like coated. <laughs> ah! Okay, I finally got them all open. So we're gonna start with number one. Um, one thing I noticed right away is that they are definitely more consistently full. Um, let's see if we can see the color shift. So this one, it looks like it's supposed to be like a turquoise to a, like a pinky color, but it looks more like a green, blue, purple to me. 
So let's give it a stir. And I was thinking that maybe in this video, oh, there's the pink. You can see it when I stir it. Um, I was thinking in this video about trying the black hole effect. I've seen a lot of people trying it on YouTube and it seems to be pretty difficult. Um, but I'm going to attempt it and see because I feel like these colors are really vibrant. I feel like these ones might be the best ones yet just from opening the, the container. So we're going to see. Um, and of course we're going to test out all these little magnets that we got today as well. So let's try this first one. does look pretty beautiful just on its own. And yeah, we can already see the color shift there. Okay, so let's try out one of these new magnets I just got, if I can pick it up. So let's try out this guy. Well, it made something, but it definitely doesn't look like that. Let's try again. Yeah, that does not look like what it's supposed to. Just put a little bit more product on and see if that helps. Okay, let's try that one one more time. So it kind of made that design, but not really, hey? It's not, <laughs> not really. Hmm. Okay, let's just quickly see what this one looks like with the cat eye. Okay, so you can see how it made like a really straight across line, which is cool, but unlike the um, Francesco where you can see like two colors, so you can see color shift a little bit, um, well in person mostly, but it's more like you just see the straight line where you don't see like the two colors in the line. Okay, so let's attempt the black hole effect and see if I can do it. But first, I'm going to quickly try the gem effect and see what this looks like. Okay, so now I'm trying the black hole effect. So you wanna find which sides of your magnets attract and then hold it on either side of your nail just to create that glow effect. And then once again, which sides attract and hold one on the end of your nail and then approach from the other side with your other magnet. Now what I'm doing wrong here is that I'm holding my magnet at the tip of the nail on an angle and it should actually be more perpendicular which you'll see later in the video but here i'm still learning how to do it so i don't quite do it quite right and i get kind of frustrated a couple times and i drop a couple f-bombs so i apologize for that no i thought i had it until i fucked it up damn it Okay, here it is again in real time. This time I actually create the look. Um, and after this, I do speed it up. But so once again, approaching from either side and creating that glow effect and the magnet sides do attract each other and then finding the attracting sides again and going from the back. Now, I did realize that if I just carry it down the nail a little further, so that's a little bit more centered, it was a lot easier um, just because obviously the magnets are a little closer to each other. So when I approach from the front, you get a better effect. 
Oh my gosh, I think I might have done it. Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh my god, I did it. Put it in the light. Okay, so here it is. I did it. I fucking did it. Okay, so if the F-bombs offend you, I apologize. Just a heads up, there is one more coming up. Um, so for each polish, um, you'll see the original ad picture come up, as well as you'll see me mix each color, and then I will stick my spatula in just to see how deep each pot is and approximately how much product we're getting in each pot. And then I will paint it onto my swatch stick, so you'll see what it looks like just plain painted on. And then I will create the cat effect on each nail. And then I will test out one or two of the new magnets that we just got to see how those work. And then I will create the black hole effect. Once I create the black hole effect, I will set it in the light for 60 seconds. And then I will put a top coat on, which you won't see. Um, but I will set that in the light for 60 seconds and then when I lay it down on the paper towel You know, it's already got the top coat on it. Okay, sit back and enjoy Okay, I have one more piece of advice. So while doing this, um, you know, just be careful. Your magnets are really strong. At least these born pretty ones are very strong and they do come out of the little holders that they're in. So um, if they slam together, they can break. And you can see there's little bits on my magnet there. Those are actually shards of the magnet. Um, and so with this one, I was still sort of figuring it out and I really got my magnets too close together. So you shouldn't have them that close together, but if you do, they can slam together. So I recommend keeping your fingers on the magnets so that this doesn't happen. Oh.
All right, before we wrap up this video, just a quick comparison of all the cat eye gels that we swatched in the last two weeks. So on this side is the Born Pretty that we did two weeks ago. Down here is the Francesca that we did last week. And then over here is the Galaxy ones that we just did. And they're all really great in their own way. Um, if I was going to suggest one over the other, I would probably recommend the Galaxy ones that we just did. I found they have really great color shift. You can really see it. Like you can really see it even now in the um, without me moving them. Uh, the Born Pretty are really pretty too and really great. It's just that the consistency of how much product you get in your jar really varied with the Born Pretty. Like they say that you get five milliliters, but I don't believe that I got five milliliters, especially in this one. Like there was hardly any product in that one compared to the other ones. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about a company that doesn't actually give you consistent amount of product. Um, the Francesca are really great, uh, but they don't move as easy. So I really love them for the cat eye effect, just because you really get this like bleeding effect and you kind of have an overall like a little bit of color on the nail so it's not just all black whereas with these ones when you do the cat eye effect you get a straight line and it's like black and you get a line so i still recommend the francesca for this look but otherwise the galaxy for everything else that's just my opinion um let me know what you prefer if you've tried the galaxy ones if you haven't they're awesome they're only like 250 each so they're a really great price i don't know check them out i recommend it Okay, let's wrap up this video. Okay, so this is everything that I opened in this video. Uh, we have the little pump bottles, the applicators, uh, the, all the magnets. Um, when it comes to the magnets, I don't necessarily recommend them. They were really cheap. Uh, I only paid $2.12 for the pack of magnets. So it was really cheap, but I mean, really the leaf one I thought was the best one. And then like, I really like this pen. Um, but otherwise, the rest of them were kind of weird. Like, they didn't necessarily do what they were supposed to do. I guess the striped one did, but... Anyway, so I don't know if I love those. We have the scissors, the flowers, and then, of course, all of the stamping plates from Nicole Diary. And if you'd like to see swatches of any of these plates, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to do that for you. And then, of course, we have the plate holders. And they're really great. I recommend these ones. Um, I have it filled back to back. And even with it being completely full, I can easily button it closed, which is great. Um, so Miss Cheering, these ones are really good. I recommend them. Um, and just remember, if you're trying to buy more than one, or if you're buying even one, just put it like buy it directly. Don't put it into your cart. Just go to buy now, and it will be cheaper. At least that was for me anyways in Canada. So... Um, and then, of course, I have all of the 90 Cat Eye Galaxy um, gels, and they are awesome. I love them. Like, look at all the colors in that. Even in the camera, you can see it, which is awesome. Um, so, yeah, definitely try these ones out if you haven't already. I think I'm going to go and buy all the colors that I haven't gotten yet, <laughs> even though I have so many already, but that's okay. I want all of the colors. <laughs> Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anything. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.